so it's a good practice for most of the project most of the time again it's not a bible so it will definitely fail somewhere it is generally recognized that good good practice definitely where people are following it project targeting uh being successful because of it standard should be tailored as per organization process and project requirement it is not prescriptive it is a descriptive practice which tells you what you could what you should be doing and then you decide how you should be doing when we are talking about exam content understand one thing there is no syllabus for this pmp exam the exam is for your for the project management exam is not from the book so pmi itself suggests 21 books for it and they have divided the whole understanding of everything into these six lessons starting with the business environment because until you know what type of organization you are working you cannot start the project once you start the project you need to plan the project then you are not the person who is doing the brick work you are the person who is guiding people to do the brick work you are the person who is motivating the team to do the brick work and that is the leading the team then performance if you have com- uh, you have uh, committed 100 bricks per minute how to do it what trainings are required what motivations are required what conflict management is required all this becomes support of the project management team performance and then definitely grow the project